Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. First off and foremost, sorry no videos went out yesterday. I goofed again. No really good excuse. Um, I just, I failed. So I apologize yet again. Hopefully you guys will be loving and forgiving like our God who continually loves us and forgives us despite our stupidity. Hopefully you will take after him for me. And if you choose to do so, I greatly appreciate it. Coming at you with Job chapter 11. We're going to start at verse 13. This is Zophar the Nemethite talking to Job. He says, If you would prepare your heart and stretch out your hands toward him, if iniquity were in your hand and you put it far away and would not let wickedness dwell in your tents, then surely you could lift up your face without spot. Without spot's a bit important. Yes, you could be steadfast and not fear because you would forget your misery and remember it as waters that have passed away. And your life would be brighter than noonday. Though you were dark, you would be like the morning. And you would be secure because there is hope. Yes, you would dig around you and take your rest in safety. The whole point about, I was going to open this up again. The whole point about without spot really made me think about the, uh, the, the, the um, not, it's not the rash or just the sores, but the, um, why is my brain failing me right now? The boils, there we go. The boils that were on Job. Obviously, he had lost everything, and his health was also very, very bad. When I looked at the thing on boils a few days ago, not only are boils, you know, painful to the touch and painful until they finally come with that little, um, like, pus-filled center, and then you, you lance it, and it's done. But if your body is covered in these things, you're actually considered in very, very bad health. Something's very, very desperately wrong with you. So Joe was not just unhealthy. He was like, I see you unhealthy. He was incredibly miserable. And he was incredibly in poor health. Um, and to the appearance of anyone, he could like die at any time. It was very bad. And this guy comes along and says, if you repent, we've already covered assumptions before and how assumptions are bad. So I won't cover it. I may cover that again before Job is out. I won't cover it again here. So he's assuming Job is in some sin. But he's like, if you were living for God, you'd be healthy. You'd be fine. Even your darkness would be as the noonday. And once again, this idea of if you're a Christian, you're going and you're living according to God and you're full of faith you're going to be by default healthy and wealthy is a lie yes there are blessings for those who call on God for his anointed for his own children yes I do believe in blessings I believe in a good life I even believe in a little bit of health and wealth myself I do believe those blessings follow those who've come after God but just because you are a firm believer living the life having faith praying the prayers you should pray, doing the things you should do, saying the things you should say. That doesn't mean everything's going to be nice and easy and go your way. Troubles come to the righteous as well. And anyone who tells you that you're, if you're sick, you're in sin, or you're poor, you're in sin, if anyone tells you that, rebuke them in Jesus' name and tell them, then please explain to me how Job was in the horrible shape he was in for the time he was in it. Yes, he was restored at the end. Yes, that health and wealth came back to him after this trial was up, but despite his righteousness, despite his faith, despite him not being in sin, he went through this hell on earth. Again, just proof that a lot of the health and wealth of the gospel, again, I believe in some health and some wealth, and Job did recover at the end, and he was good. But a lot of the health and wealth of the gospel and doctrine that's preached out there is ridiculous, and it's bullcrap, and it's not healthy spiritually. It's not good. If you go to a church, and that's all they talk about, and they have a similar attitude. If you are sick or poor, something's wrong with your relationship with God. Something's wrong with your faith. Get out of that church right now. Do not wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't go. Start church hunting and start church hunting now. Because those places are toxic. They're filled with bad advice. And they're not saying the things about God that they should. As God rebuked all three of Job's friends, saying to them at the end of Job, You three have not spoken rightly of me as my servant Job has. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.